Good afternoon, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Switch again, back for your second video blog of the day for Friday, November 7, 2014, around 5.47 p.m. in Bellarica, Massachusetts. A windy day today, mix of sun and clouds. Highs probably reached 50, but it felt much, much colder. Some news to report, the Major League Baseball has announced its Comeback Players of the Year. In the American League, it was pitcher Chris Young of the Seattle Mariners who took home AL's Comeback Player of the Year. In the National League, it was Casey McGee, third baseman of the Miami Marlins, so congratulations to them. And also the average ticket price for an NBA game rose 3.4% this season. More expensive to go to an NBA game, and one more thing, can cap the 22nd anniversary to former Red Sox pitcher Kurt Schilling and his wife Sandra Schilling. Happy anniversary to them. And that's about it on that. My next subject is about one of the most iconic stores in Bellica, Massachusetts. Bob Stores. Bob Stores has been at Town Plaza in Bellica since 1993. It's, it's famous for its football wear department and also um, clothing and active wear and team wear. I go to Bob's every every so often to buy my clothing and stuff like that. The story of Bob's started in 1954. It was founded by Bob La Lapatis and in Middleton Town, Connecticut and it was named Bob's Surplus Store. And it was famous for selling clothing and footwear and other stuff at reasonably priced. And it got popular in Middleton, Middleton, New York. I mean, Connecticut. And it got so popular that it expanded to another location in Middleton, Connecticut a few years after it opened up its first location. And in 1975, it expanded to a second store of Enfield, Connecticut, and it got popular there. And Bob Bob Surplus opened up its third store in 1981 in Hamden, Connecticut, and it was getting to ve be very popular in Connecticut with the clothing and the active wear and the sports apparel. Everybody was going there because it was reasonably priced. 1985, the chain was rebranded from Bob's Surplus just to Bob Stores. And it continued to grow to add a couple more stores in Connecticut in t during this time as well. 1990, Bob LaPettis sold Bob's store to Melville Corporation. And they decided to expand the Bob stores through the Northeast. They added some in Rhode Island, some in New York, New Jersey, and Massachusetts. 1993, around the fall time, Bob Stores opened up in Bellarica, Massachusetts, at Town Plaza, where where it used to where a J.C. Penney used to be occupied, and it was an amazing store. When I first went into 1994, it was kind of like a clothing superstore. You had all team apparel, all footwear, all stuff like that. Everything. Most of the team appeal was the Red Sox, Bruins, Celtics, Patriots, and Boston College teams. And other parts of the other parts where Bob's is regionalized. If you go to Connecticut and New York, you have the New York sports teams, the Yankees, the Mets, the Rangers, the Islanders, the Knicks, the Nets, the Devils, or if you're going in New Jersey, you might have the the Phillies, the 76ers, the Eagles, the Flyers, and some of the college teams in the Philadelphia area and stuff like that. And Bob's continued to grow throughout the Northeast and stuff like that. 1997, the Melville Corporation sold it to Citicorp Ventus. And, and this started more expansion for Bob stores. They went into like some, some new areas, especially when Caldors went out of business, they took over the leases of the old, some of the old Caldor stores. They continued to grow. 2000 Bob stores had its website. And in 2000, 
also in 2000, most of the business Bob's was doing was selling Team Apollo. That's what they were making most of their money off of. And, but a lot of people were criticizing that. The experts were saying, like business experts says, they're just selling too much regionalized sports apparel to, to the legions they were in just for the Boston, New York, and Philly areas teams. Once in a while, when I went to Bob's, they might have like NFL t-shirts and apparel of other teams, maybe the Steelers and the uh, Dolphins or the Raiders and the Ca Cowboys or the Broncos. I've seen a few times I've seen other teams appeal for the NBA, like some of the top NBA players, like LeBron James, Kamal Anthony, Kevin Garnett, and a few others. But I never saw anything else for like NBA, NHL, just brewing stuff and Major League Baseball, just the Red Sox stuff. 2001, Bob Stores started a rewards card. It was the best of Bob's card, and it was free of charge. And every time you spend money, you got points. And if you got X amount of points, they will give you a ten dollar gift gift coupon for the next purchase. And if it was on your and also they send you a coupon ten dollars off for your for your birthday. So that was a good deal. And I shop shopped at Bob's a lot, and those ten dollar coupons came, came in handy by 2003 Bob stores was bankrupt and they were going to put up for bids to who was going to buy Bob stores two bids came in fixed boarding goods and the TJX company um, the plan for like Dick's Sporting Goods, if they were going to buy it they were going to close down most of the Bob stores and maybe convert it to Dick's Sporting Goods and TJX Corporation's plan if they were going to buy it, they were going to keep Bob's the way it is because they didn't want people to lose their jobs and also maybe have Bob's as a, like kind of a startup company to join their TJ Maxx, Marshalls and Home Goods all, all into one have a startup store for 400 and this went to court and both companies let the judge hit, hit the, threw their cage to the judge for their side of the story and the judge favored TJX company gets control of Bob's. Everything saved. And then Bob started to expand to several other cities and stuff in that they haven't been in yet. Some of them were successful, some of them weren't. And TJX Corp corporations or company, whatever you call them, they 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 thought Bob's was kind of a disappointment to them. So in 2008, they sold it to a private company, which was the Vesta Capital Management, and it's still going strong today. As Bob stores, it's they've changed many slogans and stuff like, and it's still going strong. And I love shopping at Bob's. It's the most iconic store in Bellwicka, one of the most iconic stores in Bellwicka. I always do my clothing shopping there. I will, I've always bought bought sneakers there, and some of the team apparel. And everybody likes going to Bob's in Bellica. I bet maybe most of the population in Bellica majority buys their sporting clothing there and their active wear and their um, sneakers or shoes at Bob's. It's a good. It's a good. It's a good store. So if you're in the Bellica area or Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Hampshire, New York, or New Jersey, go down to Bob's and shop there okay i'll be back later for my third and final video blog of the night it's going to be about my personality profile the personality profile is going to be about the legendary sports announcer the late great kirk gowdy good night facebook friends and youtube followers see you later on